Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to another Nightwish song and we're doing How's the Heart Acoustic. That one has been requested by you a lot and under every single one of my videos from the new album, new Nightwish album reaction series that I've made. And uh, so it's a really long awaited one, I suppose. <laughs> if you didn't know already, I actually did record a reaction for every single track from the new album from Nightwish, Human Nature. And you can find all of those reactions in my playlist right there, including this video. So you might want to go and check it out. Also, for those of you who are new over here, Hello, my name is Elvan. I'm a recording artist and I've also been teaching singing for over 10 years at this point. I do record my own music and I do covers on YouTube. And if you're interested in hearing my singing, I will be putting a playlist. <laughs> I will be putting my cover playlist right there so you can go and listen to that. Without further ado, let's jump right in and listen to this. Sorry, I just want to comment on the first uh, guitar part because I really do like it. I kind of really like the finger picking style on the guitar and that kind of uh, classical writing. I know that this is an acoustic guitar and not a classical guitar, but the kind of uh, writing with uh, the melody on top, uh, I really do connect a lot with that sort of thing, maybe because I'm a harpist and it does sound to me really harp-like, if that makes any sense. So I really like that sort of... Uh, that sort of pattern and that sort of writing on the acoustic guitar slash classical guitar. I really love that. I'll rewind a bit so that we get the beginning of her phrase. Sorry, I also want to point out this here because musicians on stage often do that sort of thing, especially in that sort of context, uh, because they clearly don't have a click track in the background. And I would assume that Nightwish does perform with a click track. Uh, when they uh, do their music so that they can have like orchestras and other stuff in the background. So uh, they kind of just all rely on that click uh, when they perform, I would assume. But in a context like this one, there's more space for breathing when uh, it's acoustic. Uh, and you can see that he's like singing out, uh, like you kind of can see that he's telling her, okay, that's your turn to enter. And there's kind of like that dynamic body language that happens on stage uh, with musicians. And that's really important uh, when it comes to performing music of this kind, I guess, especially when one of the musicians is accompanying uh, a singer or another, another musician. I find it really fascinating to see that on stage and see kind of that dynamic of how two musicians actually communicate with each other on stage and I really I really like his body language in, in this kind of like leaving her the space I really do like it I'm gonna again rewind it a bit just so we can enjoy this <laughs> Can't even like this is really hard. That's my point. Here, like that's not very vocal line actually. Um, <laughs> and like being able to sing those notes on pitch and like really precisely is really difficult. And she's doing it like really really well actually. Um, like you can hear that it's a difficult line. Like she's kind of. She has to pull away a bit uh, in her singing in order to, like, she, you see that she's, like, really focused. Okay, like, this comes, I need to be precise. Like, you can, you can see it in her. 
Here I am to share the fear. You kind of hear that she's being a bit careful with it, and she kind of like goes a bit. Uh, she kind of removes herself from it a bit, and it kind of goes into the performance and it does make sense and it, it sounds beautiful in this way but you can kind of feel like she's not going like full in on that phrase because I think she might be scared to go a bit off with it because it's so difficult to be that precise. Uh, that's kind of what I see and what I hear um, and yeah this song is kind of like the ballad of the album and yet I think that it's written in a really really hard way for a singer so yeah. An act of kindness without a name and how's the heart underneath the silence? How's the wrong drowning in the fire? Let us sound to you my prayer. Come in the fire's warm, burn the rope and dance some more. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. I can't do it. I would need to practice that in order to be like precise. There's like it, it kind of moves a lot. A child of light, another tale. Do you want night will come, but not to stay? Oh. That, that face is not she did it wrong. It's, it's just like this, this sounds so hard and she's nailing it, but like <sighs> only her can pull off something like that. Do you want night will come, but not to stay? Yeah. Oh, she makes it sound good. In the Also, I didn't comment on it yet, but his harmonies are really, really pretty. really beautiful she sounds like she's being really careful on these notes which I mean is completely understandable because in this context she is so naked like in and what I mean what I mean by that is like there's not a lot of instruments to cover up for anything so like she's really at the front and everybody hears her and I, I, I just feel like she would be more comfortable if she went into a little bit more of like a forward type of resonance in here because it would be a lot less hard to maintain. Also, I really like the tone that she's going for. So like that's also a matter of like maybe that's maybe that's she that's also what she wants to go for. In which case I, I'd say like she's making her life more difficult. <laughs> um, but that's that's OK. <laughs> She doesn't go into that. She still goes into that. That's really back in her throat, kind of, and it makes it more difficult to control. So she's doing a really good job at that.
like in this last part she's actually a little bit more in that forward space but she, as she goes up she tends to kind of want to go a little bit backward um i don't know if you guys can hear what i mean by this um but yeah that's what i hear how is the heart underneath the silence how is the one drowning in the mire let us sound a human pain come on in the fire's hard. warm she's doing it so well how is the heart underneath the silence how's the warm drowning in the mire let us sound a human pain come on in the fire's warm how's the heart underneath the silence how's the in the mire let a sound human pain come on in how's the heart underneath the silence how's the wall in the mire let a sound human pain come in the fire's warm by the rope and then some such a good job like she's doing <sighs> okay i think that this video is showing just how on pitch of a singer she is she is incredibly precise and that that doesn't come just like this i think that it comes out of like a lot of practice and like practicing every single song like there must have been so much practice in this for her to be able to nail those things and like i feel like in some parts she's not going fully in like at the end she really is but like on some of the parts i do hear that she is kind of um putting the brakes a bit so that like she kind of does it very safely like she goes very safe on some of the stuff and um, she's able to pull off those things because of how experienced of a singer she is. But I would never recommend that a beginner singer or even intermediate singer, even really good singers shouldn't do what she's doing here, which is going into like... Um, the best way I have to explain is like some of the resonance is really front and some of the resonance sounds like it's a little bit more in the mouth. Uh, and especially as she goes up, she had in the beginning not not in the end where she goes full voice but like doing those very soft voices when she were doing those she tend she tends to want to go a little bit back and uh i wouldn't recommend a beginner to do that because it's very um it's it's like less reliable so and that's like the first thing that someone will want to do when they try to protect themselves and it makes it so it's less loud and a bit less easy and a bit more covered sort of sound. And as I said earlier, it might be completely intentional and I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Um, but also I do feel like this song is really difficult and, and like I wouldn't also be very surprised if she's just like playing it sort of safe. It, it does feel to me like she's a bit like having to work on eggshells because of how this song has been written. It's extremely hard <laughs> it's just really hard i'm like i wanted to cover this and after i'm hearing it i'm just like i'm i don't know if i can pull this off nicely because like and, and especially in a live performance like this that's like in the studio version that's one thing like you can pretty much do everything in studio you have as many takes as you need and like you can create like this perfect version of the song and i think that's great but doing it in a live context is a whole other thing and the fact that she's able to pull this off is like really mind-blowing. When I listened to the studio version, I was like, okay, this is really difficult, but they had as many takes as they needed to do this. So, 
and she did like a really incredible job in those takes because it sounds amazing but like in this I get the feeling of like oh my god like this is so this must have been so hard to like work this song up to the point that she can actually nail it in this way. I wish I had better words to express what I'm feeling when I listen to that kind of performance, but it, it kind of like, you know, when you watch like a car race in a movie or something, and like there's one that's kind of trying to es escape like the bad guys with the guns and whatever, and you're kind of like on the edge of your seat being like, don't, <laughs> she's kind of avoiding the bullets that the song is throwing at her and she's doing it really well but there's kind of like that stress for me that I'm listening to oh she made it oh she made it <laughs> and um I find it both incredible that she's actually managing to do that because it's extremely acrobatic what she's doing um <laughs> but another part of me is like why does it have to be so complicated why is the melody so hard in the first place um, but yeah, like, it's super pretty, she did an amazing job. I just want to give an honorable mention to Troy also for the amazing guitar playing and arrangements. I don't know if he's the one who did the arrangements, but if he did, like, this was really, really beautiful. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous, and his singing also for the back vocals, really cool job there, um, great. Alright, so if you enjoyed that video, please leave me a thumbs up so that I know I should be making more like this one. Also, let me know in the comments down below what song you would like me to react to next. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more reactions like this one, especially Nightwish ones, because I try to do all of them. I'm a huge Nightwish fan myself, and uh, it's just my thing, so I like to react to the music. If you haven't downloaded it already, I have one of my original songs that I give away for free and you can go and click the card right there or check out the description box down below to go and get it. I write music in a sort of fantasy metal kind of style and if that's your kind of thing, I'm pretty sure you will like it. If you're interested in watching more reactions from me, I will be leaving all of my reactions in the playlist right there so you can go and check all of them out. And if you're interested in my original music, I will be leaving a playlist right there with all of my covers and original music so you can go and listen to some of it. Take good care of yourselves and I see you in the next one.